Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these footstep sounds. So let's go! First of all I imported these footstep sounds for grass and stone, link is in the description. Next we need to find a way how we can discover the surface under the character. Therefore we go to settings, project settings, under physics, go down here and we have the physical surface. Let's create a grass and a stone surface type and we can just close this. Next we need the physical material, so right click, physics, physical material, this one here and let's call this grass physic. Open this up and we can put the surface type to grass. Then we save this, copy and paste this, rename this to stone physic and change this to stone. Now we have our landscape here with a different textures. So in this case, let's go to the landscape editor, go to paint and we have the different layers here. So let's choose the grass and cliff one, open this up and we can choose our physical material. In this case, we choose the grass physical as well for the grass layer here. If you have one, you can do this for every material that you have. It doesn't matter. At least you have to set the physical material here. So let's do this for the ground here as well. This is of course the stone physic, like this one. So we are done here as well. We can close the landscape editor here. Next up we need a sound cue to make the sound more realistic. So right click, sounds, sound cue. Let's call this foot, step, grass. Open this up, pull this out a little bit here. So we just take our footstep for the grass here, pull it in. Then we need a random point here, this one. And we need, an, in this case, a modulator. It mix up the volumes of the sounds here. So to make it more realistic. So we can save this, copy and paste this for the stone here. Open this up as well. Pull this out here. Remove the grass sounds. And take our stone step sounds here and plug it in. So we are done here. The last step is an animation notification. So right click, loop and loss and search for anim notify this one here, select this and we call this footstep. Open this up. The first thing that we need is a variable called bone. Bone is a name. And we need a function, in this case an override of the receive notification. We can unplug this one here, pull this out. We take our bone variable here. We go from the mesh component, get the socket location, connect the bone here of course. Then we need a line trace by channel. The start is of course the return value. Then we go from the vector and say vector minus vector, put the z to 40 and this is the end. Then we go from the out hit and get the surface type. From the return value we say switch on physical surface like this one and he already shows us the grass and stone that we created. Then we go from the grass here and say play sound at location. We can open this up here. We can modify the volume for example. I would recommend a multiplier of 0.5. The location is of course the return value of the get socket location here. And the sound is of course our footstep grass. Then we can copy and paste this. For the stone as well, choose our stone sound, this one here, and connect the socket location as well. Then we check the return value to true. 
and connect both of these to the return node. So we are nearly done. Be sure that the bone is public. Compile and save this. Now we go to our mannequin animation and I have this run animation here. So we can pause this, take a look when the foot hits the ground right here. Then we say right click, add notification and we can choose our footstep. Under details we can choose which foot we are using here. In this case the foot L as you can see. You can if you want copy the name. Then you select the footstep here and fill in the bone name. As well we do this for the second step right here. Right click add notification footstep and we can fill in the foot R. So let's see if this works. We hit play. Works pretty good. You can hear the footstep sounds. And we rock on grass as well. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.